Bonjour, Léon. Bonjour, Isabel. Thank you for being with us today to talk about the Q2 results. So what's the big takeaway of this results uh, for, for the Q2 2017? Why, well, I think there's a lot uh, has been achieved uh, in Q2 or around Q2. I mean, we've continued with our progression towards uh, optimizing our capital allocation. And it really falls, Q2 falls into four sort of main uh, sections, I would, I would say. So the first one is the transformational acquisition, the $3.6 billion uh, dollar acquisition uh, of Atkins, clearly a, a huge step forward in terms of our growth. The second thing is the establishment of the infrastructure fund. Uh, so again, we completed that just at the end of, uh, just at the end of the quarter. Uh, the third piece was the sale and lease back uh, of the Montreal head office, which we publicised beforehand, so it was well publicised, but we completed that. And then, of course, we had the Q2 performance, uh, which was in line with expectations. So can you talk a bit about the fund? Why are we doing that fund? The fund is really part of the overall capital strategy, which is to recycle assets. So if, if you look at where we invest into assets, then basically you create the value when we complete projects and we de-risk them. That really is the optimal time. If you've got a mature asset, then really that piece of the job has been done in terms of delivering the project, de-risking it. So therefore, we're creating this vehicle so that we can effectively monetize a share, 80%, uh, of the asset in order to use that cash to invest in future and then continue to build. So it's recycling uh, assets that are mature at the optimum time. So three days after the closing of Q2, we, we've done the closing for Atkins. Can you tell, tell us a bit about that? Oh well, yeah, I mean, that was a fantastic thing in, in our history in terms of looking at, you know, building towards being, uh, and I think we are, uh, a global Canadian champion on the world stage in, in the whole uh, ENC business. And Atkins was the final uh, piece of that. So it completed uh, quite a lot of our strategic objectives in terms of the sectors that we operate in. So balancing the sectors across our resources sector, infrastructure uh, and uh, power, uh, specifically in nuclear. But it also balanced us in terms of a geographic uh, position. So it gives us uh, additional uh, presence in the UK and Scandinavia. Uh, it adds to our Middle East. It really bolsters Asia and adds to the US as well, which really gives us a, a great geographic balance. And then the, f the final thing in terms of balancing, it also balances our business model. So in terms of reimbursable versus lump sum work, it, it really de-risks uh, that model. So it's very exciting time. So now let's talk a bit about the numbers. Can you tell us a bit about the financial uh, results of Q2? Yeah, there's probably three key areas there. Uh, so our net income was 136 million. Uh, so that was up over 50% from the corresponding uh, quarter last year. Uh, our adjusted EPS for ENC was 43 cents, which is pretty much bang in line with uh, market expectations. Uh, and we continue to drive our sg &A down. So you're very happy of the results? I'm happy, they're solid, good solid results. And you know that at the same time as everything else that we've been doing in the quarter, uh, or through, through certainly through the first half of this year, then yes, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Are there other takeaways from those results? Well, I think we've had solid performance across all of our sectors in terms of bidding work for uh, key clients. I mean, we've had a number of uh, key wins uh, across the sectors uh, in the Middle East with oil and gas. Uh, we've had mining contracts. Uh, we've had uh, some power contracts in, in the US. Uh, and I think overall, we've also got a very, very good and strong a pipeline of bids. We're bidding a number of uh, key projects uh, at the moment that we hope will come to fruition in Q3 and Q4 of this year. So how's the infrastructure sector doing? 
Well, the infrastructure sector is really, really busy. I mean, we are uh, currently uh, bidding on a number of, of infrastructure jobs, uh, which I think are, are fairly well publicised. Um, but we're really hoping that uh, at least two uh, will come to fruition uh, shortly.